then when this farm came and nobody wanted the farm, I told my let's let's start off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when when came the farm, I I said to my wife, the two things I want to give to my children. Yeah. One is wings, yeah. which are easy for me. Yeah. The other is roots. Yeah. Because my children now has three passports. Yeah. European, American and Brazilian. Right. So Wings was easy, but roots, this is roots, it's five generations in the family, the coffee story is the story of Brazil, and I said I would like to keep this and save. Yeah. So the idea is to create, we're creating, now we're working together, we're looking from the top, not only I see my farm, he sees his farm, we sit together and we're looking together from the top. The idea is to make this place a multiplier, what we want is other farmers to look into this. It's okay to make big plantation, but create the green corridor, protect the water. You know, so, I mean, I'm not, uh, we are organic, the others are not, don't have to be organic, but should be sustainable. And first you have to understand what sustainability means. Yeah. Farm has been changed for a hundred years. Wow. Now to get back, to get the right soil back, mm. it takes, takes time. So whatever you do in a farm takes 10 years. Yeah. Now after the first 10 years, we started to observe some things. And then I met my next door neighbor. Best thing that came from the farm, with the farm, was my neighbor. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's, I call him the guru of coffee and the father of mother nature. Yeah. He lost almost his farm for Banco do Brasil, so he owes a lot of money, like everybody. Yeah. And, but he started to observe that some coffees was doing very well underneath some trees. Yes. So you start to see how the, the symbiosis, how one helps the other, and how you can... So, and he, when he came here, he said, Marcos, first lesson of what I learned after all this experience. If you need to... If I want to visit you on the other side of the river, yeah. I don't jump in the water. I got a little deep, and I put in the water, and see the strength of the river, then I go up, the margin, then I jump in the water and I cross, enjoying my cross, I'm going to visit you, because if I just jump in the water without knowing, I might be swimming against the currents and never make it to the other side. Yeah. So when you come to a place like this, don't do anything. Hmm. People get out of college and they want to do, they want to do. So they, they learn in Illinois how to plant corn, they want to come in Brazil and plant corn the same way. Uh -huh. So they go, they cut everything and put that thing and yeah. don't know and here and walk with him walk in different parts of the farm and I learned the best fertilizer for the soil is the owner's footprint because the coffee is growing so now the third the fourth year I'm gonna have flowers and fruits so now I will need a little bit more of sun and so what I do I clean the canopy so we started to cut the vines mm -hmm. The vines, see now it's kind of open. We started to cut the vines. The vines are dead now. There, they will fall, and they're going to even enrich more the soil. Wow! Here, give me your hand. Smell. Wow! Smell it. When you feed, 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 all the 200 uh, uh, flowers come at the same time. So there's no room. Yeah. So what happened? 100 will abort. Mm -hmm. But then when the, the, the beans start to grow, there's no room for 100. Yeah. There's room for what, 20 at the most? If there is more, they're going to be small. They're not going to develop. Yeah. There's no room for them. Yeah, yeah. So and if, if it's just enough, it's what the soil has, the nutrients the soil has, they will grow bigger. Yeah. Yeah. They'll grow bigger and healthier. So, and, and another thing here, there's no frost. There's no, when the rain comes, the rain comes here and the coffee starts to fall on the floor. But the rain doesn't go direct, so there's no big wind, there's no frost, there's no, uh, you yeah. know, there's no too much sun. Yeah. And the soil, I don't do anything. Another thing, when you have the trees in a row, the grass grows. I mean, yeah. we live in a tropical country. Yeah. There's no winter. In, in, in Europe, in the States, in winter, the soil rests for six months. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's Never. non-stop. And the sun hits in, in an open soil, it grows grass non-stop. But here, it's ground covers. They don't grow. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to do anything here. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. I just come here and uh, wow. here you come to see the animals, the wild animals. <laughs> Just
Estamos salvos e estamos vivos. Agora não temos mais nada a perder. Nós nos tornamos imortais. Nós temos o alimento dos deuses. O alto das montanhas yeah. não tem mais segredo para a gente. Descalços, caminhamos sobre o fogo. Podem até rir na nossa cara. Nós temos o alimento dos deuses. Yeah, and it's the same uh, below. It goes for water. Yeah. Sure. That's why we have the springs. So sure. cut sure, this, sure. you kill the springs. Now you bring them back. You bring the trees back. You